Hey guys, so we just got crashed into and the guy ran away. <laughs> And I told them that we could fix it within ourselves, but he didn't want to, so that's on him. And uh, my back hurts and my stomach is hurting. And oh my god, guys, look. Come, huh, babe? When you don't want, when you don't want to see them, you see them. And when you want to see them, they beat us. But tell them what they call me. Yeah, but tell them that's coming. No. My back hurts. And... My back or my head is hurting. My stomach. Okay, bro, my car was very fucking washed too, man. Ain't that some bullshit? I don't know. Wait, but at least they saw the guy saw him on Roscoe. Yeah, but by the time the cops come, they're probably in his house chilling. Probably. Unless he lives really far. He looked like he was probably drunk, too. Hello. We're at the hospital. No, no, I'm out. <laughs> because we don't feel good. And we're waiting. We already got checked out like our weight and everything and asked questions and then we're gonna take x-rays so i'll see you guys later and we'll keep you guys updated the next day of the accident and um we're here to tell you guys more about what happened so first of all we're okay yes my shoulder hurts a little bit I mean, just... and my back hurts a little bit but no not much went away so, um, we, you can, were you can going, explain. we were going to the bank because I needed to deposit some money. And so, it's in a plaza. And in order to get in the plaza, there's like this intersection where a lot of, it's really busy. So, we were in the right lane. All in the right to make a left into the plaza. No, not right. Yes. Left All in the left lane to make a left into the plaza. And we were at a stop sign, and so we were waiting and then for Then I guess he was it was his turn to go, so mm -hmm. he, I guess, opened up too wide, so he went. He just. Oh, and he was coming from the left side. Yeah, making a right mm -hmm. to leave the plaza, and I was gonna go in. I guess he opened up wide, so he just scraped my car. Scraped the whole side. Yeah, I was in shock for a couple of seconds. I was just like, what the like. Oh yeah, you were. And I opened the door by the way and I took a picture of the license of his. No, but you moved your car a little bit. Yeah, because if I opened the door, the door would hit his. I was hitting his car, so I had to move a little forward and open the door. Mm -hmm. And then the first thing I thought of was, I need to take pictures. <laughs> I, all I did was open the. Because once I opened the door, the, the bumper was right here of his car. Mm -hmm. So I opened the door, took a picture of the license of his. Last in place, just in case he took off. He tried taking off, but he couldn't. He couldn't because the whole tire was bending. So then. How was after that? Um, the passenger guy took off running, but we didn't notice. Yeah, I noticed because of what happened at the moment. And then the 
other guy, the driver, he was just, he went on the side and I saw him, like, he was talking on the phone, so I was like, oh, he's But then he was, like, talking. walking, 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 But then he started talk. walking and walking, but I thought he was probably trying to go get his friend, but then some witness that was there, which thanks to you, he, he said, hey, the guy's running away. Yeah, so and then I was so like, oh, she, okay. Her brave so ass I started him. going after him and the other guy too and some lady that was there. And we were just walking right behind him. We're like, hey, where are you going? Where are you, like, stop. Like, come on. And he was just like, no. Or at first he wasn't paying attention to me. He was just talking on the phone. And then he just kept walking and then... I was right behind him, telling him, hey, where do you think you're going? Like, come on, we need to go talk about this. And he was like, what do you want me to do? And I was like, let's go and talk about this all together, and let's find out what to do. Like, yeah, we, can fig we can figure it out between, between ourselves. And he said, no, I don't have papers. I don't have insurance. I don't have anything. My car is wrecked already. I can't, I'm just going to leave it there and whatever. And... And I was like, okay, but what about my car? I was like, you need to pay for my car. You need to come back. And okay, if you don't have papers, you have a job, right? He was like, yes. And I was like, okay, then you could pay us off. You could pay us, you know, like money to fix our car. And it just, you know, it doesn't matter. We don't have to bring in the police or anything. So he said, I ain't going to pay anything for your car. And I'm not going to pay you nothing. And he was kind of drunk too. So Luckily, I had my phone out, yeah, and I was taking, I was like, oh, okay, he doesn't want to take picture. he doesn't want to pay us, so I'm going to take a picture of you, and I took a picture of him while he was talking to me, and then I was like, alright, then if you don't want to pay anything, then you're going to take it up with the police, and he was like, he was just like, and he walked away. And while I saw his friend on the other, on the side, other side of the street running away. And I stayed there because I had to call the police, I went to the company, which never showed up. And then some cops just happened to pass by. He's like, oh, what, what's going on? Yeah. We tell him a story, yada, yada. And then he said, okay, let me make the report. He got off, started helping us out. And then yeah, it all happened. And then uh, hopefully I get paid for my car. If not, then I'll just see what I do with and get myself a truck. I don't know. We don't know what we're going to do. But everything happens for a reason. We don't know what the reason is yet. But we'll find out. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> And so I showed the officer his a picture. picture and he recorded it on his little camera. He was like, he was like, Just the good thing is that we're okay. Yeah. Last Only I had to go to the hospital because I was feeling a little pain in my shoulder. And then I, still I had do. a lot of headaches, like major headaches, which was really painful. Even at night. At night, I, I, I just wanted to go to sleep really bad because I was Excuse like, no, I don't want oh, no, to. I couldn't sleep. Yeah. It was too... 37, I was just like, damn, I can't sleep. And then I woke up with my shoulder hurting, my back. Well, not like a big, big pain, but like if I lay down, I get a sharp pain in my back. And the lady said, yeah, if you can feel like if it hurts a lot, just drink a ibuprofen, whatever. But I want to stay off pills. And we went to the hospital. They took x-rays of us. They, had, they said it they was we all good. We just had swellingness. Yeah, we just have inflammation. <coughs> like, I had inflammation, I believe, on my back and my neck. Ashley. And then he had some on his chest and his, like, arms. Mm -hmm. On my back and my chest. Yeah. The <coughs> doctors were really nice. They were really nice. Yeah. Then we went to Valley Presbyterian Hospital. Mm -hmm. They were really nice there. Yeah, the wait was quite a few, a little bunch of people. The me. wait time wasn't that long though, not three as hours. long as I expected. No, I mean for when they called us and everything to us to do like the main thing, it was like um, 30 minutes. No, like, like 40, 50, an hour. Around there. And then just to like, and afterwards the when they took like all their information and checked us out and everything. From was there it was like an hour was, and a half. No, yeah, it was like an hour and a half. And then... And then once they started doing like everything about doing the x-rays and um, talking to us, that took like on three hours. Like all together. Mm -hmm. Three the hours and a half. We got there at six and we left like at nine twenty something. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a good probably good. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do my car for a while, but I mean. Until they take pictures. <sighs> I don't know what's going to happen. I just have to keep up with my insurance. 
guy in there. And how did they find the guy? They took his car. His to... car was totaled. Yeah. Luckily, my car wasn't totaled. They took it to the FBI to do prints, and hopefully, they find him. And they figured out that it, the car is probably stolen because the license, no, the plate numbers didn't match up with the. The, the VIN number. The VIN number. Which is what kind of car it was. Yeah, so. We don't know what's gonna happen. Um, hopefully, everything turns out for the best. And everything is We'll keep you guys up with what happens. Yeah, we'll keep you guys updated. My life. So you can tell he's feeling better. <coughs> yeah. you, gotta, you can't think about the pain because you. That's true. Your brain will tell you, oh, you have pain. You gotta just. Okay. You can go like, ow, ow, ow. That's what you're going to go with. Oh, wow. Pain whoop. <laughs> Alright, then, guys. Thank you guys for watching start. and wanting to know what happened to us. And yeah. See you guys next time. And make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Yes. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>